on github actions in today's video we will look on how the parallel and sequential execution of jobs will happen in a github action jobs are the fundamental or the independent units working in a actions workflow each job will be executed by separate runners and independently with other jobs as a workflow curator we may need to sequence the execution of jobs sometimes execute the jobs in parallel also so in today's concept video we will look on how we can sequence or execute in parallel different jobs so i'm going to the demo here we defined a workflow those who are aware of github actions workflow it's a yaml file start with a name or a run name you can define then a specific event here i am using a workflow dispatch indicating it's a manually triggered workflow and start with different jobs we have only one job here it's called build name image that's a job which runs on ubuntu latest it's a hosted runner i am using here not a self hosted it's a github hosted runner and a set of steps uh, following the each of the jobs uh. so i am going to replicate the same for the second job as well for example the second job i am giving the publish image to staging let it be the staging one exactly same thing i am not going for any detailed implementation it's just the concept video publish image to staging that's my step so let us see how this will be executed once we save and trigger the workflow both the jobs will start executing in parallel based on the availability of the runner so both are independent there is no relationship between these two jobs right now so the, the both will start executing in parallel and complete it now let us see how we can make it sequential one after the other for that we use the clause called needs needs you can specify the which job needs to be completed before executing the current job that is what we are saying so here i am saying for executing the publish image staging job it needs to complete build image so let us start the workflow and see how it is executed meantime i am again going back and introducing a error here so the first job i am executing by one it indicates that the job 1 will fail so i am going to save and let us see how the previous one is going you can see it executed one after the other in a sequential way when you supplement the needs or specify the needs needs is the keyword used for sequencing the jobs and this time i have introduced an exit code saying the first job fails normally if it is a need setup is there if the first job fails the second will be skipped it will not get executed so let us see the build image is failed and you can see if i go to the publish image it is a skipped because the build image is failed but sometimes we have multiple jobs and then even if it is failed also you may need to execute the dependent job how we can do it so i am just introducing one more job here called unit test and if the unit test fails also here i am forcefully failing unit test job if it is fails also i need to execute my publish image for that so again i am keeping the dependencies i build image as well as unit test is the dependent one and in both the case i need to even if it is fail also i need to do then i can specify that 
always irrespective of the success or failure of these two jobs execute my publish image staging job that's what it indicate so let us trigger the workflow let's start executing so there are two jobs and the third one is dependent on these two and even though the second job failed still the publish image staging will get executed because of this clause if always in case i remove this one it will fail because one of the previous jobs which is dependent job is failed so this is one level of parallel and sequential execution another way of introducing parallel and sequential is using metric strategy sometimes you need to build the image for multiple uh, combinations so you can specify that as a matrix strategy so you define the strategy matrix and what are the metrics you want to define it so i am going ahead and picking one of the metrics defined here so let me just take the matrix here i am having two version one is version and the other one is os so this indicate that all combination of these two values it needs to execute the job so as a combination if you see there are 3 into 2 six different jobs executions will be done and normally we use this values inside the jobs as you can observe that the execution is going on around five of them is completed the last one is getting executed based on the runner availability again here also sometimes you need to restrict the runner overloading that time you can specify that under the strategy what's the maximum parallelism you can do it so you can say max parallel for example i need to execute only two of the jobs or combinations at a time so again i am going back and executing this workflow and there are multiple combination in the strategy area you can have the combinations you can exclude include different values if you notice here only two at a time will get executed compared to the previous one where almost five is executed at once kind of thing here only two of the build that is why max maral we defined the maximum it can execute two of the things so altogether for doing the parallel and sequential execution of the jobs you can use first one is need need is uh, for the sequential execution of jobs you can define whether you need to execute even the dependent job is failed or not conditionally you can execute it you can make multiple dependent jobs as well and then coming the parallel or strategy based uh, metric strategy based parallelism a combination of matrices will form to execute that many times the jobs you can restrict the parallelism by using max parallel also as part of metric strategy you can include exclude different values so go ahead and explore this parallel and sequential execution of jobs in github actions thank you